Okay, guys, so this is 12.4. Making predictions with experimental probability uh, standard and your objective to be able to make predictions using experimental probability. Again, always with 8% accuracy or higher uh, given the independent practice. Two cavalier words. Prediction is something that you originally expect to happen in the future, right? When you have a prediction, you think of make it... Um, I guess, um, educated guess of what's going to happen in the future. Then qualitative prediction helps you decide which situation is more likely in general. Qualitative has to do with quality. Okay, so which one do you think is going to happen uh, most, which one's going to be most likely to happen, okay? So there are two ways to use that. So you're given this problem that says that 20% of the time Alex makes basketball shots. And uh, if shooting 80 basketballs, how many will he make? Okay, so you're making a prediction. You're, gonna actually, you're not going to actually have him do 80 shots, basketball shots. Um, but you're gonna use use do use the use the mathematical reasoning to be able to create a prediction. There are two ways to do. It. You can use proportions or you can use percentage. So let me show you the two ways. So if I use proportions, I know that twenty percent is written as twenty over hundred because that's twenty percent. Twenty out of hundred, he makes it. Okay. This is the percentage. This is the total. Okay. And now he, we want to see out of eighty basket how how many he's gonna make it. So out of eighty, eighty is gonna be my total. And so you can use the butterfly method there. So I go 80 times 20, that's 1600. And then I divide that by 100. Remember, we can do this. So that's 16 times. So that means that out of 80 times, he's going to make 16 other shots. Okay. He's going to make 16 other shots. Okay. And then if I do percentage, I'm going to change that into a decimal. So remember, when I have percentage to decimal, I have my decimal here. I go twice to the left because I'm dividing by 100. Because 20 hundreds is just this, okay? Um, or I can just write it like this. And then I'm going to multiply that times 80, okay? So when I multiply that, I get this, which is 16. Okay, 16 shots, same answer, okay? So let me go ahead and give you one to do. Okay, so this one for me. 40% of the time, Mike makes the shots that he he shoots in soccer so if shooting 12 times in the goal how many times will he make those okay um you can use proportions or you can use percentage um way and just tell me about how many times he will make the proportion if it's a decimal make sure that you round up, down because you cannot say oh he's gonna score 3.5 goals right it's just three goals okay god bless you bye